This is a video I've been really excited for for about three or four months. Today, we're going to be reviewing Apple Watch SE. Let's get into it. Before we get into the review, we need to go over um, the watch itself and the specs. Let's go. So the Apple Watch SE is heavy on features but light on price uh, according to Apple. Um, this device starts at $279 uh, at both Apple and Amazon. Both will be linked below. Um, the Apple Watch SE has some powerful features to help keep you connected, active, healthy, and safe. It has the new cellular feature so you can call a message without your phone nearby. It's also now water resistant, so you can do some water workouts or swim with it on. Uh, it has an advanced heart rate monitor, which is actually really good for me because it always says my heart rate was really high. And I guess it turns out it actually wasn't. It was just a bad heart rate monitor. It has the mindfulness app. It can call for help whenever it can. It can, it can, it can detect falls. Um, I haven't tried that out yet because I've purposely fallen. Uh, it can detect falls and ask if you're okay, and it can also call for help when you need it. So I've had it for about three weeks now, and the sleep tracker is phenomenal, I will say that. Um, it supports thousands of apps, and I will be making a uh, best Apple Watch apps sometime in the future. It can play music, podcasts, and audiobooks, and more all from your wrist, um, from services like Spotify, Apple, and Google. Um, the display is over 30% larger than the Series 3. When I say the display, I mean the actual screen under the glass. It's a retina display. Um, if you look on the Series 3, it will maybe go up to about here and stop, but on the um, SE it goes to about here. And on the Series 7, it's almost full screen. Um, it's also two times faster than the Series 3. You can do custom watch faces, which we will go over later. Um, it has uh, tons of watch bands on both Apple.com and Amazon. It has two sizes, 40 millimeter, which is what I have, and a 44 millimeter. Um, I think the bigger size might have a bigger battery and it might be faster because it's bigger and can fit more stuff inside. Uh, it comes in three finishes, space gray, which is what I got, Silver, which is more on like the whiter side, and gold, which is like pinkish, so it's technically like a rose gold. Um, you can double tap the side button, which is kind of like the power button, to access Apple Pay. And just like that, double tap, and then you have your cards on there. So, of course, it has the Retina display that is 30 times or 30% larger than the Series 3's Retina display. Um, it is 50 meters uh, deep swim proof and water resistant. It has the new heart rate monitor with irregular heart rhythm notifications, SOS calling, uh, international emergency calling, fall detection, the compass and the altimeter, which is basically like how level you are with the ground if you're on an incline. This available cellular, um, battery life is up to 18 hours and the MagSafe charger it comes with is really fast. I said, I'm going to say later in the video, it takes about 30 minutes to charge. It actually takes about two hours um, to charge from zero to full. Charge is really fast as the retina display that takes up almost all the screen. And it comes in the finish of aluminum with space gray silver and gold, which is, I'd say it's rose gold. It has noise monitoring, um, so if it's really loud, or like gets, I think it's 85 decibels, it'll let you know. It has the second gen optical heart sensor, a dual core S5 SIP, the digital crown with haptic feedback, GPS compass, altimeter, and the second gen speaker and mic, which are a lot better than the series two, which I used to have. Uh, 
You can also get it in the Nike or the Hermes um, finishes. The Hermes is, I think it's about around $2,000 for that. And the Nike um, is about the same price, maybe $50 more. And you're probably thinking, yeah, that's those are some cool features, but why should I get an Apple Watch? I can get something a lot cheaper that can run off Bluetooth from Amazon or get like a Galaxy Watch because those have iOS support now. Well, Apple says it is the ultimate device for a healthy life. It can track your workouts, sleep, heart rate, and more. You can make calls and send texts from your wrist. The Apple Fitness Plus, um, so you can track all your workouts on your wrist. I haven't tried Apple Fitness Plus. I don't know if I'm going to, but I will make a video on it if I do. Um, you can call for help if you fall or you just need help. You can easily call for help. It has the sound meter, um, which is really useful. It'll give you a notification if stuff gets really loud um, and it could uh, cause uh, hair damage. And on the Series 7 only, it has the ECG and blood oxygen meters. Um, it can it can play music, podcasts, and more just from your wrist. The virtual key, which I did not know about, because I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube of people charging like their Tesla or their electric car, and they just put their watch up to the charger. And I always thought, how did that work? It's just something with Apple that they do. Um, they can also unlock your house with select um uh, lock brands um of course it has siri and maps I, um, I think it supports google maps i don't know about ways though and of course it supports apple maps it has thousands of apps kid-friendly features it works well with other apple products and i mentioned that in my um apple ecosystem video on the top of the screen it'll be in the top right um it has the apple tv remote and you can unlock your iPhone or Mac with the watch, which I find this really useful because at school I'm always wearing a mask. Um, and I, for face ID, I would usually just have to pull down my mask and do it. But with this, if it just sees a face, it'll unlock it. And it'll send your watch a notification that your phone was unlocked. Uh, and you can, you can just press lock if you didn't do that. And you have to put in your passcode again for it to work again. And you can make the watch uniquely yours with custom watch faces and watch bands. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, that's a satisfying feel right there. So there's, it's like some plastic wrap and I've never opened, oh, there we go. I've never opened up an app watch box before because I've never gotten one brand new. So this is a first for me. So here's the watch itself and here's the band. I'm gonna go for the watch first. Let's go ahead and open this up. There it is. But first we're going to we're gonna go over this later. Here is the uh, MagSafe charger it comes with. And here is the actual device itself. It's a lot smaller than I thought, but it will work. Now we're going to go on to the band, which does not open like a normal Apple package. It's got a little pull tab right here, and then open it up. That band did not want to come out. This is Apple Watch. We're gonna. This is the instructions and safety guide. Don't really care about that. We're gonna go over this in a second, but this is what we really care about. Here are the bands. Now we're gonna go over this guy. So it says, of course, like always, designed by Apple in California. Open the band box and follow the steps to your Apple Watch. Put it on, press and hold the side button, open the app, the watch app, and plug in the MagSafe charger to charge. To set up your watch face, um, swipe up for control center and swipe down for the notification center. So that'd be for the control center, that'd be for the notification center. 
um, and just touch and hold. You don't need to press hard like you do on the older watches. Just tap and uh, it'll zoom out and show you new watch faces you can add or you can add your own uh, in the watch app and create your own from images. Digital crown, uh, it's, this is why I got a new watch, the digital crown, the spinning feature and the button broke my old watch so I've really only had that one button, uh, it wasn't really that great. Um, scroll, zoom or adjust with it, press it to return to the watch face, press and hold to activate Siri, side button pressed um, to view recent apps, double click for Apple Pay and hold to turn it off or make an emergency call. We don't care about that. That's instructions and safety guide. And that's all that's in there. So the way you put the watch bands on, I'm going to put my red uh, solo loop on. I will have this link below. Um, Apple makes these and there's a cheaper one on Amazon. I have the Amazon one. So you want the black side facing towards the screen and this little area right here, you just stick one end in and it should just slide in. It's a bit, um, it's not, I'm making it look really hard because I'm recording while doing it, but it just slides into place kind of like that. And for the other one, do the same thing, that little area, and it slides in. And to take it off, there's these little buttons. You hold down the button and it should slide right out. But look, right now, not pressing the button, doesn't slide out, but with the button, it'll just slide right out. And also in here, like we just went over, that's how you put it in. You slide it in until you hit the click. You can adjust it with, if you have the sport band, and to remove it, just slide out and unhook it. Like that. Uh, that's how um, you do watch faces to choose a complimentary watch face, touch it with the watch display or the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and tap face gallery. So how we set this thing up is you take your iPhone, you open the watch app, and then you just simply hit add device and then it'll search for nearby devices and then it'll seamlessly connect like that. So it's been about a week later. I've had it for about a week. I got some new watch bands. I'll have them linked below. I updated my watch face to this. So um, after a week, I'd say I really liked it. Um, I like being able to view the messages and notifications on my wrist and the activity logs are pretty convenient. Um, I will say the battery life lasts definitely a day and then maybe overnight. It's a pretty, pretty good uh, device. Uh, it does everything that I need it to do. I really like the 40 millimeter screen. It's really nice. It's not too big, but it's big enough. Um, it's It charges fast. The heart rate monitor is pretty good. The digital crown. Uh, button and all the other buttons. They're all really good. The speakers are nice. Microphone picks up sound pretty good So that's my review of the Apple Watch SE. Before we decide if the Apple Watch SE got the X Factor, let's go for what the X Factor is. It's basically me saying it's a good tech product and if I say it almost got it, it means it's pretty good but it might need some more stuff. So like the AirPods Max almost got the X Factor um, a product that probably does get the X Factor. Um, I would say, I don't think I've gotten one yet. Um, but the Apple Watch SE is my first product on this channel to get the X Factor. Uh, it passed the test. It's a great product. I highly recommend it. Um, it's a bit more on the expensive side, but that's also Apple. Apple is not cheap. Apple is definitely on the more expensive side. Um, I would say the best value of Apple products they sell is probably their AirPods and their iPhones and maybe the watch. The watch is still a little bit expensive though. So the Apple Watch SE does get the X Factor. Um, if you want to see more product reviews, hit that subscribe button. Um, and 
uh, hit the like button, comment if the comments are on, and my feedback forms down below too. Click in the top right of your screen to watch the first episode of my podcast. Uh, if you're watching this the day it's out, it's not out yet, it's premiering on Sunday at 8 a.m. Click on the left side of the screen to subscribe, click in the bottom right to watch a video YouTube recommends to you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.